Okay, let's take a look at how this whole thing is put together. This is the aluminum fuel cap purchased off of eBay. Then purchased this brass fitting, which is the quick fuel line connection, usually found on fuel cells for boats, with a quarter inch thread fitting, which fit directly into the pre threaded hill within the aluminum cap. Perfect fit. And then we have the female side of that quick connect fuel line, which has a 5 16 I think yes it was 5 16 uh, end connection it was a tight fit because this is a quarter inch fuel line but it gives in a pretty easy once you work it a little bit I have tried various uh, hose clamps I found this one to work the best I had these plastic hose clamps but they used to kept popping off these stay secure so I went with all these. I also tried uh, cable ties, which worked okay, but I feel more secure with this. Okay, let's move up the line. Next in line is this brass fitting right here, which has got a quarter inch bobbin in here, and it's female to accept this quick next type of quick connect. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Either way, all you do is pull this fitting down, pull that one, the opposite direction, these separate to quick connect connection. As you can see, I have the same fuel line here, clamps, and then I have a nylon T fitting. And the reason I have a T fitting is this for a dual generator setup. And the other side has the same connection as the first one I saw you showed you, which is the quick fuel line connection for a fuel cell usually found on the boat the female side okay let's go back to the T section from that T section let's work our way back down I added a glass inline fuel filter so that I can actually make sure that the fuel is running I've had situations where the fuel had cut off and I couldn't figure out why I found the reason for that. I've remedied that solution. But just in case, this is an extra precautionary measure as to make sure that I can make uh, confirm that fuel is running through the line with the fuel filter. And this helps clean the fuel, the fuel as it goes through. There is one fuel filter found within the actual fuel cell. This is the next one. Then the final one is the one that's found within the Honda EU 2009 generator fuel caps. Next in line is a primer pump. What you're going to want to do is when you first plug this in to get the fuel into the cell is give it a couple of good pumps and it just sends fuel up the line to preload the fuel cells for startup. Then from then on it's all fed automatically. You don't have to do no more pumping after that point. Uh, more fuel, uh, fuel hose clamps. And then the follow in is the another one of these fancy dancy quick connect fuel line uh, adapters which actually connects into the fuel cell and that concludes the entire little experiment it works perfect I've had it running I've tried different variations of this this is my final draft version I think this is the version I'm going with all parts you can find within uh, your local marine shop that sells outboard motor parts you can piece this whole thing together from there the only thing you need to buy is this cap which you can find on ebay and then you can build your own extended run fuel system for your generator it's an easy thing all right.